Hello everyone and welcome back to Urbe Salus. I am Leader Ames J15 and this will be tutorial number seven. This tutorial will be on creative building. As you may notice, the audio should be a little clearer. Um, today is an exciting day because the new microphone came in yesterday and I ran some tests on it. And I feel like the sound will be sufficiently clearer than what I was using. So before we get started, if there's anything that we can pray for, please let us know. The link will be in the description of this video. It is also the business inquiry link on the description of the YouTube channel. So please let us know if there's anything that we can pray for. Also, our server is open. And when I can, I will try to monitor uh, the console to see when someone gets on. The subdomain for our server will be in the description of the video. It is also included in the description of the YouTube channel itself. So we can always look there to find the subdomain. I'm going to go ahead and read our verse for this video. And then we'll get started. And I believe I have multiple verses from different books here. So the first set, uh, let's see here. It's just one verse from Luke 24. It's the Gospel of Luke chapter 24, verse 49. I'm going to send you what my pro... Hmm. I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. That was the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 49. Now I'm going to go to Acts to finish up <clears throat> what I'm looking at today. And I will be in Acts chapter 2. Verses 1 through 4. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. That was Acts chapter 2 verses 1 through 4. Now what both of these verses are about is the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God sent to dwell within God's people, to help them, to guide them, and to empower them to do God's work. The Spirit has many jobs, and it is important to remember that the Spirit is the Spirit of God, therefore the Spirit is God. But or I should say, and the verses I read are the beginning of the understanding of who the Holy Spirit is. I think I might try to do an in-depth study of the Spirit 
through the verses I read for the next couple of videos. I think that is a good place for me to to study and I'll break it up throughout different videos find different verses and without further ado we will hop into our tutorial so I should mention, please comment for future tutorial ideas. You guys seem to be loving these tutorials, seems to be your favorite thing coming from this channel. So please give me some more ideas, I'm starting to run out. This tutorial is a little more abstract, abstract for me. I am not, in general, huge on creative building. However, I do build, and I am creative, so I thought I would combine the knowledge I have from those two areas to give you my spiel on creative building, which I'm sure would be substantially different from that of someone who does creative building as their, as their go-to when playing Minecraft. So let me get some water. All right. So, I'll start with building. Building a house in Minecraft is one of the first and one of the most important things you can do as far as the first few minutes you spend in the game. What you build beyond that traditionally may include a mine or a farm, maybe both, maybe neither. But traditionally you would soon build a mine and a farm, depending on your style. And then you might build other buildings that you find need for, like storehouses or stables or anything decorative. But that's normally, or I should say that is your normal survival mode sequence. And in survival mode, your buildings are normally start out minimalist, and they may get better if you're a creative type person. But because of the need to gather resources, buildings in survival typically are more simplistic than those in creative mode. And those in creative mode can come up with some really crazy building designs. So, what I'm first going to talk about is the fact that I am not the most experienced creative builder. I do creative building but not for the purpose, or not normally for the purpose, of just creative building. Typically, my creative building has a specific target use. For instance, any of the buildings you'll find on the Airbase Alice server. Now, I don't think I did terrible on these buildings. In fact, some of these are pretty good, but they are far from the best. This is the townhouse building, and to me, this looks like a very cozy townhouse building. 
and the bell tower looks like a very regal bell tower and there's the gatehouse in the harbor so if you're wondering how well first of all this took a while second i was most definitely in creative mode and third well i already had this idea in my head so i wanted to make a townhouse as the center of the main city in our base palace and i wanted it to be this nice brick cottage type building on top of the mountain so i found the mountain i wanted and i had to do a little bit of kind of sort of terraforming to get everything flush but my style is typically from the ground up in a very uh, mathematical sort of way because I'm a math person. So if you have an idea, then go ahead and find what you need to make that idea happen as far as your creative building goes and find your style of building find the style of building that works best for you for me it is laying out things in layers starting with a very square foundation and making the porch and the floor all in one then making the walls for the first floor putting in the windows and such, then making the roof of the first floor, and on top of that, the floor of the second floor, and so on and so forth. And practice is also key, because I've been doing my specified creative building, I guess you could call it, for quite some time and I have made plenty of mistakes while doing it and I've learned a few things that might make for instance something that's supposed to be a house type building cozier what I really find cozy is the brick outside with the wooden walls inside making sure that there's plenty of light but that it's not overly medical in brightness so these lamps work really great with this wood texture having a few windows is also nice and some decorations now i don't know what happened there were decorations in the server i have fixed this there are decorations but having a clean and organized space is also a very cozy and homey environment i made a path leading to this to make it easier to get everywhere and i tried to make this path kind of follow the form of the natural landscape because i don't want this to be too much like a city as far as a I should say a big city. I don't want this to be too much like a big city. Typically a big city in uh, real life you have you you have where the roads are meant to be absolutely as quick as possible, which means often you have bridges and the road goes sh straight through cutting through some natural landscape and it's not quite as small town slash small city feel which is something i kind of like the fact that the roads can flow with the natural landscape and still get you where you're going is an idea that i like that's me personally 
But I didn't want this to feel like a big, huge corporate city. I wanted this to feel like a welcoming place where it's kind of like your small town. Everybody wants to know about you and help take care of you and come and ask you if they think you can help them and so on and so forth. So these roads are still serving the purpose of getting people where they're going. In fact, it would be quicker than just walking around without a road. For one thing, you wouldn't get lost. For another thing, these roads are relatively straight. but they also flow with the natural landscape. So that's what might create a homey environment. And you have your small town, small town slash small city environment. And this is just a few things that might help to achieve a certain type of environment in Minecraft. Another thing is mirroring real life, like these lamp posts. When the sun comes, mm, when the sun comes up, these lamps will go off because you won't need them. But they're there for at night when you want to be able to see the road and well not have monsters spawning on the road however it is possible for them to walk out of the darkness so be wary of that so mirroring real life with the house uh, feel of building and the roads and the lamps and the harbor and the little tiny pond thing here. The bell tower was well modeled off of a I guess more medieval style or possibly gothic style of building a straight tower and the bells are in there straight up and just a few ladders to get where you're going. Pretty simple in design. There's not a bunch of, not a ton of doors. It's just straight up one ladder as far as the inside goes. Now you can climb to the top with multiple ladders, but basically the idea was a square tower that's straight up from the ground. Now, if you wanted this to be more ornate than I made it, you can make it more circular. Perhaps if I had thought about it and wanted to make it more ornate, it might have been a good idea to make it more circular. But this is more in tune with my style of building here. So once again, it is important to understand your style of building. Also, let the tiny mistakes you make be what helps turn your building into an artistic masterpiece. If you haven't already noticed, there's a kind of odd and quirky mistake here that, well, to me, makes it feel like even more of a homey experience. See, I wanted the roof to come to one peak and to be able to use a single block space for that peak instead of having a shared peak from two blocks of stairs, I guess. I wanted to have a, a relatively square pyramid type shape. And I wanted to have just a single light here, but 
then, when the whole roof shape had already taken place, take a look down here, the bottom design of the townhouse features double doors in the center. Which means there probably should have been two lights here. But in the corrections I made, it helps define the townhouse and make the townhouse unique. And it's not a terrible, horrible mistake that just ruins it. But if you take the mistakes you make in your building, you can help use those to define the building and make it unique. So, one way that you can build your buildings is to make them into the sides of mountains or build them underground if you those are just a few ideas or you could just build them out in the open I like underground bases I also like houses in the sides of hills and a nice cozy house on top of the ground in plain sight is also nice. It's just a few ideas. I typically like to make symmetrical buildings. Perhaps that's not your style. But I try to mirror real life and I try to stick to my style of building and The way that you play Minecraft, if you've never tried to build anything as far as creative goes, can tell you a lot about what your creative style might be. If you like to organize and plan out things meticulously, then your building style will be very organized and very planned out but if you're someone who likes to so to speak go when the inspiration strikes you you know oh I found this ravine or oh I found this village or oh I found this or I want to find this you know maybe you're adventurous then your buildings won't be quite so planned out you'll just start building maybe this is theoretical maybe you'll just start building and see where the building takes you now I do a little bit of both I have a sort of idea of what I want to do with the building but I don't really know a hundred percent how it will turn out because there are always things that I might want to change or maybe there was something I forgot or didn't consider about the mechanics of the game that changed the way the building was built I like really to make buildings around redstone and not every building I make has to be made around redstone like my house for survival over there it's not not very redstoney at all but when I go in creative I like to make buildings that have at least a little bit of redstone in them because I like using and building with redstone So I'm not hardcore into total creative building because I want my buildings, yes, to look good, but really I'm more goal oriented when it comes to building buildings. And you might be just like that, very goal oriented, or you might just want to build the buildings for the art of it. For the art of architecture in which you might find yourself spending more time 
just building these buildings and finding out what works for you and what doesn't and what might make the buildings look better and you might be one of these or one of those people that you go and start a building project and when you're done it is very very magnificent indeed um, not that these aren't magnificent to a degree but they're not meant to be art they're meant to look good but they're also meant to be very functional so you can have buildings that are just meant to be art in which case they wouldn't be quite as functional as far as using them for something other than art because they're meant to be art and that's the function that they serve and typically these buildings will be very very magnificent indeed as far as artistic nature goes and that brings me to working together you see when one person who builds buildings just for redstone teams out with someone who builds buildings for art or perhaps someone who isn't really big into building at all and just knows a lot about redstone or someone uh, teams up with someone who is very big on building for the art of it if you team up together then your buildings become more magnificent and functional at the same time because the person who is very good at architecture will make a very artistic building and then the person who's working with the redstone will be able to use this building as a template to put redstone contraptions in the building and therefore enhance the functionality of this building with redstone on top of artistry. Something that is very special to me as far as creative building goes is designing fortifications or more military type buildings like gatehouses, harbor checkpoints, lookouts, and uh, the training grounds which you can find in episode three of our tutorial series, I believe, on the Urbay Salus Guard, or like this bell tower, it's more of a joint military and just regular city use. And that's something that has largely influenced my building. I like to make things where they can be fortified. Even if there's never going to be a threat, I just like making fortifications in Minecraft. So find out what it is that makes your building style unique, or really, I should say, find your building style. If you haven't already tinkered with creative building and you want to get better at it, then the way to do that is just to do it. Start with maybe a house or a castle or maybe a restaurant, a rail station, a waterfront, a harbor, maybe a school of horse riding. 
just pick an idea and start building. Find the ins and outs of creative building, find your style, and always look for ways to make it better. Because every building you make will be unique and special. But every building you make is also an opportunity to learn how to refine your skills as a creative builder. So if you want to get better at creative building, just pick out a material, go set that block down, and build. The more you build, the better you'll get at it. It doesn't necessarily have to be modeled after real life. There are very, very, very good creative builds based on maybe dragons or wizards or, I don't know, maybe aliens or futuristic ideas. If you want a realistic look, then base it off of real life, but if you're looking for a more fantasy-based look, experiment with that as well. It takes experience to get good at something as far as art goes. So, practice, practice, practice. Put your style of playing Minecraft into your buildings. And eventually, you will be creating buildings that wow those who see them. Even if those people are very good at building themselves, it is still always a magnificent sight when you see a building created by someone who knows what they're doing because they've done it a lot. And you don't have to be the best to create great buildings. You just have to have some sort of experience and knowledge in it. I know I haven't really been building something for you to see. That would take a while, but you can watch how I built my house in Minecraft. And a little bit of the stables. I built this garden outside of my recording time. And I did this in survival. I used shears and broke two of them. And then I realized, hey, this is expensive because I was running out of iron. And all of this was just me trying to make use of some of the materials that I sometimes find annoying when I go mining. thought, why not make a fountain in a garden there? So that's what I have to say about creative building in Minecraft. And once again, I know it's been more of saying than doing, but I have done buildings for you to see. So, I would encourage you to check out different videos on the channel to see the different buildings if you wish. If you want to see the different buildings. Really, I cover a lot of buildings in the server announcement as well as the welcome to urbase house video i don't really go into
depth a whole lot, but I fly by a lot of buildings and you get to see them. And when it comes to my survival buildings, just, you know, if you want to see those, well, here's the most of it. And if you want to watch the Survival Minecraft series, you'll see how a lot of this stuff was built. Now, some of it was outside of recording, but... I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it's been helpful. Please let us know in the comments what tutorials you want to see in the future so that I can uh, I can bring you relevant content. Also, please let us know if there's anything that we can pray for. Once again, the email is in the description. It's also the business inquiry link on the description of the YouTube channel. The subdomain of the server will be in the description of the video. It is also on the description of the YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. And this is Leader MJ15. Signing out. Okay, also give me some better ideas for outros in the comments.